Hey everyone, it's Tira with Rent Mason Bees, and today we're going to talk about earwigs. Um, we've had a lot of questions asked about earwigs um, in the garden and in your Mason Bee house, and so I thought I'd write a blog to address those questions personally. Um, I did post a video in our blog from another gardening expert who had some wonderful tips on how to get rid of um, earwigs in your garden, kind of like our beer slug traps, but you can also do an earwig trap. So take a look at that video in the blog. And I wanted to do the newspaper trick um, to get rid of earwigs. I watched a lot of different videos. You can Google stuff online and find all sorts of different ways of removing them naturally. But this is the best way that I found. So I just kind of wanted to demo it for you. I have some paper, I have some olive oil, and I have three rubber bands. Um, so all you do, it's really easy, is you take your paper, and I like to fold it so it's a bigger roll when it's done. So I fold, folded it in half like this, and again, and then again, so it's all just folded. You can play around with it. And then crease it like that. And then all you do, oh, you're gonna wanna add the oil. Get your fingers all grubby and add some oil, olive oil, canola oil, doesn't matter what it is. So just add some oil in the middle that will attract them. And then you just roll it up. Just roll it up. And then you take, you can see, and I build like a little cavity for them to go crawl into. So you can see the little cavity. You take your rubber bands and you place it on the outside, not too tight because you want them to be able to crawl in. And there you go. I just needed two rubber bands for this piece of paper. But you can see the holes. They like to crawl in. They like, they're nocturnal, so they'll come out at night. And um, they like damp places. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put water down this end and then also water down this end and then get the outside wet. If it gets too damp, just wring it out like you would a towel. And then you just place this in your bee house. And at night, they will crawl in there thinking that it's shelter for them. And then in the morning or a couple days later, you can take this paper and just get rid of it or open it up and see what's in there. Um, you can also put this in your garden. So this is also a garden tip. You can put it under a plant that you see is being damaged by a lot of earwigs um, eating the leaves or the seedlings in your raised beds. So that's how you make an earwig paper trap. All right, good luck. Go get them.